Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see 15 very important shortcut keys for 3ds Max beginners. So first I start with uh, how to manipulate in perspective view or some cases in other views also. Okay. Uh, first one, you can manipulate this one in perspective. Okay. Which is nothing but we call that as an orbit rotator. Okay. So it's simple. Press Alt. Keep holding it. And also press MMB that is middle mouse button okay click hold that to alt button and also the middle mouse button and then rotate it okay so you can just go rotate the view okay so you can rotate it and you can just have the view wherever you want okay so I can just leave it here and the next one is MMB again middle mouse button click only the middle mouse button to pan okay so if it is here if I want to bring it to the center click drag okay so MMB click okay so middle mouse button click and drag here and the third one is scroll you have to use the middle mouse scroll if I just crawl away okay so it goes to zoom if I just crawl towards you it's going to zoom out okay if I scroll away from you it's going to zoom in okay so that's the three which you can manipulate okay here you see I told you that in perspective view you can do orbit rotate if I just go to another view kind of top view if I just alt in rotate this you see it gets rotated but it's jump to orthographic view okay in such a case make sure that you work pivot rotate in perspective view and other views just go for uh, the pan and zoom in zoom out okay so make sure of it after this I'm going to tell you the transform shortcut keys transform shortcut if I press W you can see this gizmo we call this as a gizmo you see three arrows right X Y uh, X Y and Z axis where you can just move it okay just click on it click on any object any any tool here okay or any shape here just click and move it will move so we call that as a move the shortcut key for it is W then the next one E here I'm just going to use E to bring out this rotation tool where you can just rotate the object so whichever axis you want so it can be Z axis or uh, X axis or Z axis or Y axis whichever object you click that tool will be seen because we are in that tool if I want to scale it I want to press R to bring out scale tool I'm just zooming it out I'm pressing R so you see I brought up scale tool okay so where you can just scale the objects okay so scale the shapes just click and drag you get scale okay just click and drag okay so you can see these transform tools in detail in uh, other chapters so here you just see one D the shortcut key okay so transform tool shortcut keys are W R and E fine after that it's very important to know how to switch between the views now I'm in perspective view if you want to know which view you are in just go here to the left top in the viewport you find something called perspective if I want to jump to the front view just simple I'll I'll tell you it's very simple it's front F R O N T right note the first letter it is nothing but the F if I press F it switch to front front view if left top you can see it's front if I want to go to the top view yes exactly it's T again I go to the top view if I want to go to the left view just press L L is nothing but the left view it brings out the left view if I want to go to perspective view it's simple again P to bring up the perspective view all the starting letter of the viewport name okay so it's very simple right okay so you see that I have other four views if I want to see all the four views I have to minimize this perspective view little bit smaller I have to see all the four views how to do that it's very simple remember alt W 
if I press all W you get all the views here you see on top I just rotated it is still in the orthographic view okay so if I want this to the missing view port what I have to check here you see top view here you see left view here it has to be again front view press F it switch back to front view okay so if I want to maximize this front view I press alt W so I just maximize it again I press alt W to switch back okay so you see wherever you go okay the selection okay you see a golden border for the selection that will get maximized make sure that if you want to go maximize your perspective view again click on the perspective view make sure that it is selected and then press all W to maximize it or else just go to any view okay and press P or T or L or F to switch to the other views that's great okay so let me go to the perspective view back again fine here I'm going to show you these objects these shapes you see in the solid mode okay if I want to see that those in the wireframe mode what I have to do the shortcut key to view the wireframe mode is press F3 okay so if you use laptop go for function F3 okay in PZ just press F3 again if I just press F3 it gives you the solid mode if I press F3 again it gives you the wireframe mode okay you can toggle between these okay so the wireframe is highly helpful when I'm selecting something behind an object okay so I can have this I can go and select this okay if it is in this mode I cannot go and select those at the back okay so make sure of that okay again you see this is smooth right if I want those wireframe we call this that as a mesh on this solid mode what I have to do I have to press F4 you bring out those lines edge or uh, you can call it as mesh on the solid layer okay where this will be highly useful while we edit those shapes got it so you go for F3 for wireframe you go F4 for toggle between the solid and wireframe on the solid okay so that's simple fine another thing so if I have selected a, a piece here okay a shape here if I want to zoom towards it so it's simple just go and press is it you got it right I zoomed toward the selection object if I go zoom out there if I want to have it somewhere at the corner of it okay so if I'm just focusing here in this okay so let me bring it here so I have uh, selected this one I'm just going to press is it to go closer to this or zoom to the selected object just press is it okay it zoom to your object or the shape where you can just go simple and edit it okay so let me bring back to the collection just let me zoom it press is it again and zoom it okay last but not least if you know some shortcut keys just go press control plus X which gives you expertise mode expertise mode which hides all the panels but remains only the menu bar here okay then you can just go into this take some tools or you can make group view create modify animation you can use all these menus okay if you're good with your shortcut key okay if you know how to work with expertise mode you can just go into expertise mode and you can work okay fine these are the 15 uh, shortcut keys you have to know before go to work with 3ds max got it so i hope this will be very useful for you if you like this video like it share it subscribe it if you have any queries leave it in the comment box so i can replay thank you